What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here, back with another Cheat Engine tutorial. This time I'm going to be talking about multi-level pointers, and I'm going to be using the tutorial that comes with Cheat Engine. So after you've installed Cheat Engine and you've got it open, you go to Help Cheat Engine Tutorial. That'll bring up this. You can skip through to Step 8, which will take you to multi-level pointers, and that'll you know, put you right through if you want to play along with the video, so to speak. So. Anyway, um, this is a follow-up to my uh, other video, my introduction to pointers. And so if you haven't watched that yet, check it out. Um, so, yeah. A pointer essentially is a memory address pointing to another memory address. And that's it. So that's what a pointer is. And then you've got the address where your value is that we can scan for right now. Then we have the base address, which is where the value originates. And then everything in between there, multi-level pointers, everything in between there are memory addresses that point to other memory addresses until eventually you land at whatever address holds this value. All right. So from the program's perspective, this value is in a base address somewhere and then everything that's going on with pointers and these different memory addresses eventually we end up at another address where we can scan for this value and then as we do our manual pointer scanning we're working backwards from the end result to find the base address where the value is stored okay so in the tutorial here we know that we have a level 4 pointer which means we are looking back four levels through pointers before we find our base address. And if you've watched my other videos, you know base addresses are green, so we're going to be looking for a green address inevitably. All right, so with that said, I have Cheat Engine attached. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to look for 235. All right, then we're going to change the value here. 1223, that changed. Perfect. We know this is it here. Okay, we can call this value. This is our value. All right. So the first thing that we want to do, all right, this is the address where everything is ending up. Okay. So we're wanting to find our way from here to wherever the base address is. So this is being written to, the value is being written to this memory address from something. Okay. So we need to right click and say, find out what writes to this address. It'll attach the debugger, we say yes, and then we change the value. If you were in a video game and you're looking for health, let's say, you search for your health value, now you're going to get hit again or you're going to gather some health, whichever one, that would change it and then let you know what's writing to that address. All right. So here, EAX is writing to this memory address. So when you see brackets, that means it's a memory address being referenced in here. All right. So that's going to clue you in on what we're looking for where pointers are concerned uh, with multi-level pointers. All right, so um, we're interested in our brackets. So the first thing is you, whenever you first get into this, you might want to keep Notepad open or maybe Excel, and you can keep track of your addresses and the offsets. Okay, so we know that our address here where our value is is this. Okay, what's writing to it is EAX, whatever is in EAX, is going here. ESI plus 18 is this address. All right, so we already have the first address plus the offset that's needed. Okay, so ESI is this. All right, and then we can say, uh, we can say like, Addresses and then offsets. All right, so 18 is the first offset. So we want to search for this address. We want to search for ESI. Okay. So we'll go stop, close, new scan, check hex, paste ESI in there. First scan. All right. Now we have a few results here. So what do you go with? I tend to go with the one that's closest to um, 
you know, like 0, 0, 3, 6. We could go down 0, 0, 3, 3, or we could go up from 3, 6 to 3a. If moving down is close enough, I like to head downward, you know. But if you don't have a number close that's lower than this, you only have a number that's close that's higher than this, that's okay. So I'm going to try to go with this one here. And um, so we can double click that. All right. And you can copy that, put it here for your addresses. And I'll show you why this is handy for you to keep track of. All right. Um, and now what you can do is you can either right click here and say change record address and check pointer all right but what I personally like to do is keep modifying value here all right and so you look at your value you see what your value is over here we can change our value again make sure you know we're definitely on the right thing and just right click on your address here and say change record address and check pointer all right and we want to enter the closest thing that we found here we decided we want to go with this one so we're going to enter that plus the offset that we found 18 and look what we have here we're good with the value still okay so we say okay all right now what we want to do is find out what accesses this address okay because now we're in a pointer we are in a pointer, which means we are in a memory address that's pointing to a memory address. All right, so it's not being written to; it's being accessed by other pointers surrounding it. All right, so we'll right-click. We'll say, "Find out what accesses this address." Okay, there we go. Find out what accesses this pointer. Then we change the value. And look here in the brackets, ESI. All right. Well, which one do we go with? this is a good reason to write down your addresses because if you see any addresses you've already searched for you don't want to use that one alright so you see how in this top one ESI is uh, well let's see in this bottom one ESI is our very first value that we had 365630 we don't want to search for that we already did that okay and this uh, second one here though all right we have our most recent address which it can be because if there's not an offset from ESI it's going to be that address that we're going to be searching next okay so now we'll copy that go stop and close do a new scan search for that address first scan all right here we go got some more results and the closest thing to 33 here we've got 35 let's go with that one so we can right click here um, well, let's see we can you can add that to the address just so you can quickly copy it close put that here we'll say offset zero all right and can delete that now right click here go to change record address and now we'll add an offset move your 18 up and keep your 0 here and now we want to enter this address here and look we're still pointing to a good location all right so we've got a memory address pointing to another memory address at zero offset and then that memory address is pointing to another memory address with this offset alright so it's moving on up the line so we say OK and then once again right click and you say what access is this address alright find what access is this pointer change the value again there we go ESI plus 14 so we have an offset of 14 we know that so now we look for what is in the ESI register down here all right three five four two FB that one's not showing up anywhere that's good if we look at this one F8 D8 we've already done that one okay so this is the one that we're interested in 
So we copy ESI here. All right, you can paste it there. Uh, stop and close. We wrote down our offset. New scan. Paste. First scan. All right, now what's close to 35? We've got 32. Let's go with that one. Okay. So double click it. Double click this. Copy. Paste. All right, close that. Delete. And then change record. Address. Add an offset. Move them up. 0, 14. And then here we put the new address that we found, which we copied. Paste that. Still looking good. Still pointing to a good value. Okay. We say OK. And then, last but not least, you know the drill by now. Find out what accesses this address. Change value. Okay. Our last offset here is looking like it's 0C. And then what's an ESI? 3203F8, not seeing that anywhere. All right. 3542F8, we've already done that one, so this is the one that we're interested in. Grab ESI here, copy, uh, paste it here, stop, close, new scan paste first scan and here we go we found our way to a green address all right this is our base address that we're interested in okay now we could have along the way taken some of those other addresses that were close to this one and we could have still possibly found our way to this very same base address there's like multiple paths to get to a base address sometimes okay so now that we have that we can double click that double click here all right we have that uh, right there I'm not gonna bother you with that so let's just delete that for now say yes right click here change the record address add offset shift them up 0 14 and then C and then we'll enter that address into here 0 0 six four five three nine zero and look still got a good value we say okay and there we are we found our way to our base address it wants us to change it to five thousand and then lock the value done that lock it and now we say change pointer and then next should highlight for us and there we go now we go next and we're done so we just manually walked our way up through pointers to find our way to the base address. All right. So I uh, hope that explains it a little bit and you know shows you pretty much what you've got to do with that. Don't forget, there's also cheat engines built in pointer scanning, um, and that works just as well. But personally, I don't really like. Uh, scanning for base addresses anymore. I just go straight to AOB scans. I find those to be the easiest and most reliable for the most part. So um, anyway, if there's anything you didn't understand here, just watch the video again. Uh, maybe check out my other pointers video if you didn't watch that. And feel free to ask me some questions if there's something you're not quite getting and I'll try to help you out. So thanks so much for watching. And um, give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I will just talk to you all in the next video. Take care.